Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO Cosmic Clips video. Today guys, we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Steelix here. Uh, it's a pretty interesting card, but two energies, you can do 50 damage, and you discard any number Pokemon from your hand with a retreat cost exactly 4, and does 50 damage for each one you discarded. This card is very similar to Baby Blacephalon. Originally when I built this card, I tried to kind of model it around Baby Blacephalon. Um, didn't really, like, work too well because I tried to put, like, Pidgeotto in the deck, you know, it wasn't that good. Um, but instead, I've decided to run Silvali instead for helping you to draw. I think this deck does need a draw engine to be able to, you know, constantly get Pokemon in your hand for thumping fall. Uh, and Silvali gets us there with this reload. And uh, I am playing a lot of uh, big retreaters. Some of them you can actually use. Uh, we can't use Waylord, but um, it's a meme, so it's in the deck. Uh, I am using a little Executor, though. We can use Paradise Draw. I have Licky Licky in the deck. I have Arcanine in the deck. And I play Snorlax. All of these Pokemon we can use, except for the Waylord. Um, we can use all of these Pokemon in a pinch if we really have to. We can use Arcanine through Ditto, Licky Licky through Ditto. So that's kind of the idea. And we can even use Snorlax as a back of attacker with big counter, doing 60. If your opponent's as a tag team, you do 180. So that's kind of the idea behind playing Snorlax. And this is the list I've gone with here. So for again, the video, of course, show to our sponsor, Card Carbon TCG. You guys, as always, if you're ever in any need of any PDCGO codes, um, if you're trying to get Cosmic Eclipse codes still, trying to get all the Cosmic Eclipse cards, all the GXs, all the rares, all that good stuff, and trying to get codes for Cosmic Eclipse, uh, get them over at Card Carbon TCG. They do have all the other PDCGO uh, code goodness over there, too, like GX codes, like Trev and Trevin and Dustin codes, uh, Mew3 GX codes, stuff like that, are all over at Card Carbon TCG. Any PDCGO code you can think of should be over there. And if you get anything from Card Carbon, make sure to use code LDF for the checkout for a 5% discount on your purchase. Support the channel, help yourself out, and help out Card Carbon TCG. So yeah, shout out to our sponsor, Card Carbon. So yeah, let's look at our list here. So Steelix is, I, in my opinion, I think this card is way better in Expanded because you can use a DC. You don't have to rely on Welder. That's the issue uh, with this build. We are going to be using Welder to power up our Steelix and our other Pokemon. Um, we can't use DC. We can use... Uh, TCE, we can use Triple Energy, but unfortunately, it's not the same because uh, you have to discard it. But uh, we can use Welder to build up our Steelixes here with Thumping Fall, 50 damage, discarding your Pokemon. Uh, with your cheek off exactly 4 from your hand, is 50 damage, 3 from when you discarded. And it can one shot Pokemon too. That's the cool thing. Steelix can OKO stuff. Uh, much like Baby Blacephalon, it plays similarly. You discard things from your hand. Now, getting Pokemon in your hand is a lot harder than Basic Energy. Uh, we are going to be using Pokemaniac though, which can get us our four retreaters. And uh, we can even play. Maybe Lore Ball and of course like Brock's Ridge. Just ways to get Pokemon back in the deck in our hand. So we have some support. And again, the four traders I've gone with we can actually use except for Waylord. But the Waylord's in there for the meme. I mean, you could still use Waylord. Stick it in the active 220 HP. Puff, slap a Puff Patton on it. That could be kind of cool. Um, but again, we can use like Licks Go Crazy if we want. We can use Arcanine if we want. We can use Exeggutor's Paradise Draw if we want. Or we can even use Snorlax here to attack with Big Counter. Um, that's kind of the idea there. We have our Silvali engine with Disc Reload, help us draw cards. We have Silver Knight and Brave Buddies too to come in handy. Uh, Onyx and Steelix are also both attackers and Pokemon to discard. Obviously Onyx you can build up to deal with Pika and Dark types, but of course you can use these also for discard bait. Uh, going to the items now, I am playing two Aggro Bike just to be able to, you know, find stuff you need. It's a pretty simple card, it's not a bad search card in some scenarios. Um, that's why I do play it. I am playing one Cherish Ball, just immediately finds a Silvali. I think it is needed, because we only have four Pokecommas or other Pokemon search option other than Pokemaniac, but Pokemaniac will never find you Silvali or Type Null or Ditto. Cherish Ball will guarantee you the Silvali, and I'd rather have the guarantee than the find a Pokemon, because Pokemon Communication puts a Stage 4 back in the deck, or <laughs> Stage 4, uh, a 4 Retreater back in the deck, right? And then that prevents you from doing 50 less damage, which could ultimately hurt you. So I'd rather just guarantee the Silvali. It won't hurt us to play one of these. I am playing two Crystals along with six Fire. Six might be on the low side. I am playing one Triple Energy. Um, it can, you know, you can come out and over the Triple Energy. It could buy you a turn maybe. That's kind of the idea behind it. And again, we can use it with Licky Licky and Steelix and Silvali. If we ever need to finish the game off, just slap a Triple Energy on and then use Welder on the back. That's kind of the idea behind one Triple Energy. I mean, seven Fires is honestly better than one Triple Six Fires, but we're going what we got. We got two Crystals. I am playing a Great Catcher, of course. Um, I got Lure Ball, uh, not guaranteed to get a stuff because on a coin flip, but you know what? It comes in handy, gets you one or two Pokemon, you never know, could win. Uh, four Poke Gears to get our supporters, four Pokemon, one Switch. I guess you should probably play two Switches. I don't know what to take out for it though. That's also the issue with this deck was trying to figure out what to take out. Um, 
to add stuff. I got two Giant Hearth, of course, Find Fires, one Brock's Grit, four Welder for Pokemaniac, one Caitlyn Cynthia. Um, again, we have to rely on Welder to power up our Pokemon. We have to use Pokemaniac to, you know, power up Steel's attack, and Brock's Grit to get the Pokemon back after we discard them. If you want to take a Lure Ball and throw in a second Brock's Grit, you can. The problem is, though, you're not always guaranteed to kind of get stuff back. Uh, Caitlyn Cynthia is really good though. It's honestly, I have, I'd honestly be fine with playing two of these. I am playing two buff paddings, of course, because it gives our big Steelixes, our, you know, other attackers like Smurlax, it gives them plus 40 HP, uh, one 3C and six fires. And I don't know, we have the giant hearth to go with the six fire, uh, but if you really want to take this out, throw a, throw a seventh fire in, it's up to you, whatever you want to go with. I'm fine with six fire because two energy to attack is not that many energy, so you're usually fine, but it's up to you. Anyways, yeah, let's go check out the deck here on PC Joe. Alright guys, let's try out Steelix here today on PDCGO. I'm interested to see how this will play. But uh, we'll see if Steelix can take us home a dub. Um, and oh my gosh, that's hilarious. We're up against a fairy deck. Oh my. Now they could be playing Whimsicott, which is a lot harder to beat than Guardian. But if they're playing a fairy deck, bro, what a first matchup to find with the deck today. Oh my gosh. That's hilarious. Oh, uh, keep feeding me fairies. Um, unfortunately, though, our start is abysmal. And it, well, we have Solvali. We have an energy. I mean, okay, we can make this somewhat work. They are going to mulligan. And all right, they are playing. It looks like Guardian. So that's auto win. Quite literally, like, I don't see how we lose. Wow, that's actually kind of funny. I don't even know the last that long. They might just concede as soon as I drop an Onyx. Now, they could be playing Customs to knock out Onyx. But yeah, this is like quite literally the best matchup we could ask for. <laughs> Steelix, I mean, that's like the one bother about playing this deck is at the very least you have Steelix. There's a Pokegear and an Onyx. That's really good. You have a, you have Steelix to take out Guardian. There's like, yeah, my opponent's probably screwed. Um, if they play Customs though, they can definitely try to knock out Onyx early on. Um, I, I'm not a fan of starting with Type Null, but we can use Silvali. We can always retreat it. It's not a bad hand. If Pokegear can find his Welder, that'd be really good. And all we need to do is get rid of three Pokemon with Thumping Fall. And they never one-shot me unless they GX me. But if I get a buff padding on it, ain't gonna happen. They are gonna Guzman Hala. I wonder what they're gonna get here. We do have two Stadiums here. If they get a Wonders Lab, that would be a little annoying. But we have two Giant Hearths. That's about it, actually. There's only two giant hearts. No, they're going to get a power plant. That sucks. We're not going to have Silvali's ability. See, when I played the Pidgeotto build, we didn't have to worry about power plant, but the Pidgeotto build kind of sucked. I'm not going to lie. Uh, let's play this. Uh, Pokey Gear. I got to do it. We have... That's not a great... All right, we got double Pokey Gear here. To find ourselves a Welder. Let's see if we hit it. There we go. We'll welder. We don't. We really don't even need to build the active, to be honest with you. Because once we come in with Steelix, we knock him out. So I guess we can just sacrifice Type Null. It doesn't even look like we're going to use Silvali. There's the Counter Stadium. So I uh, guess I was wrong. We still have a two retreat cost. So we still have a long way to go to get where we want. I think I'd still rather just build up Onyx here and find Switch. I don't know. I'd rather just lose the Type Null. There's no point of putting Silvali in play if he, play, if he plays Power Play. But I guess we need the Silvali. I kind of wish I played two Switches. It's fine, though. Oh, no. He puts a Weak Guard Energy on. Are you kidding me? He plays Weak Guard Energy. Well, that changes my plans a little bit. That's pretty frustrating, not gonna lie, that he has weak guard energy in the deck. <sighs> we still knock him out, though. We could just play pass and pass and just make it look like I got nothing going on and then knocks me out. Pokemaniac, knock him out. Alright, that's game. I think that's game anyways. I'm pretty sure six Pokemon does get us there. It's not like Steelix will get knocked out anyways. Go Pokemaniac, boop boop, boop. Yeah, I'm pretty sure six Pokemon gets us there. Let's do it. Thumping Fall. One, two, three, four. Six. 
That's a knockout, right? Yeah, that's a game. <laughs> I mean, hey, that's a matchup we always want to see. But, uh, it's definitely good. If we had Shrine, actually, we wouldn't have to get rid of any Pokemon. But we always one-shot Guardian most of the time, so we don't really care too much. That was fine, I guess. Nice quick first game, though, lol, for the meme. Okay, so after that game there, I actually decided to take out the 3C. I just threw in the 7th energy. It's not gonna do much harm taking out that card. I don't know, I thought it'd be useful. Oh my, another fairy deck. Okay, hopefully this one doesn't have weak guard energy. That would be nice. Um, wow, two Guardians in a row, pretty much. Unless this is Whimsicott. That is some insane luck, if you ask me. We are going to Mulligan, making it look like we're actually playing a Licky Licky deck, which is kind of hilarious. Uh, maybe I will do a video on Licky Licky. I haven't done one yet. I know it's a pretty interesting rogue. But it's not a new card, so I don't know if we'll cover it right now. We get a double Onyx start. Our hand is not looking great, though. Unfortunately, we have no Welder, no Energy. We have a Pokemaniac. That's about it. Yeah, we'll see what this... I mean, if I had the triple, right, I can knock this out. I mean, this is a pretty hilarious scenario. We run into two Guardians back-to-back. -back. This is actually back-to-back, -back too. Like, straight up, this is the second game I played right after the first game. Uh, the problem is our start's not looking good, but again, Steelix can take a hit here unless he GXs me, so we should be okay. Problem is though, if we get, even if we get a type Null, Savali's not amazing because of Power Plant, which is a problem. But if we can draw well enough here, we should be able to knock these out in two attacks and win the game, unless they play weak guard energy. This is the only thing I'm scared of. And our start was pretty tragic, so it's not looking great. They could be- maybe we, like, Pokemaniac. Bait them, and then they stamp me. That actually would be decent. Stamp would give us a new hand. And if we can get a Welder, we get some energy, we're golden. This is why maybe the triple's good, because at least with triple, you can just pop off. But I don't know. We're gonna get a Tag Call and a Greens. Again, we gotta hope they don't play any weak guard energy like the last Guardian deck played. I mean, even they do, we can always still one-shot them. It's not that hard, but, like, weak guard energy is something we do not want to be seen all the time. And again, our hand's not looking good, so we're kind of in top deck mode for a moment unless they do end up resetting me. But they are going to set up here. We don't have any stamps of our own, so they are just in free mode to just do whatever. There is that pesky power plant. This is why I can't use Solvali. But we did draw an energy though, which is pretty good. We'll play the Pokemaniac. We do have our Ditto. We got all our Steelixes. We got Steelix, Onyx, Wailor. I guess we can get the Alone Exeggutor. If we do somewhat draw Ditto or Pokecom, we can at least guarantee us a Paradise draw. We don't need to get rid of that many Pokemon, so it's not the end of the world. We play an energy on to the Bench Tonic. This is where it gets tricky. I don't know if they're playing um, customs or not. I mean, they're not going to custom me this turn. I actually just hold the energy. I, like, if they can stand me and do it in a hand, that's fine. But if we can hold the energy and draw a welder, that actually would be better. So I think we do not attach the energy. If you find a Poke Gear or a welder top deck, we can play that. I think it's fine. Hold the energy. We don't want to commit. If they play customs, they custom out the Pokemon we attach to. They knock it out with Magical Miracle because, well, unless we find a buff padding, then I guess we'll be safe. Yeah, there's the green. So they pretty much just are in cruise control right now. But again, we one-shot them super easily. All we need to do is attack with Steelix, and we should win the game. Like, especially if we get a buff padding on. So we're kind of just hoping we can find a Welder off the top deck or something. Maybe Jirachi is better instead of Silvali. I still think this deck needs a draw engine, though. Yeah, Licky Licky's not doing much not doing much for us. This is not looking great right now. We can tank a few hits, though. And one Steelix can carry us, on, on all honesty. One Steelix can carry us to the win. Unless they play something stupid like Koga's Trap. There's no way they can one-shot Steelix without Magical Miracle. They might be able to Magical Miracle me, though, any time now because we're drawing, like, trash. This is kind of annoying that we're not drawing very well here, because this is like a perfect matchup for us, but... PDCGO is a game that is reluctant on RNG, so you're never guaranteed 
to get good hands, even in matchups you're supposed to win. You really gotta hope to draw something here. Maybe I should have held on to a Steelix, because if I can draw a Welder, I can potentially knock him out. Yeah. Maybe I should have went for Steelix. No, they're gonna knock me out anyways. Okay, so this is where the game is gonna start to get a little interesting. So they'll knock me out Magical Miracle. They aren't gonna be able to do the Magical Miracle, which is good, without, you know, putting my hand down. But at the same time, we really need a top deck here. I guess we threaten him. We have the fire crystal. Force him to GX me. <sighs> Man. It's pretty annoying. Just need to draw out of this. Man, I hate being in top deck mode, bro. It's so frustrating. So, so, so frustrating. I really don't want to lose, man. This is such a good matchup, but... Oh, yeah, just to rub in the salt. Plays a Wonders Lab. Like, we're not going to win this at this point. Oh, he's going to Fairy Song. He, <coughs> he bought me another turn. He's obviously going to Magical Miracle me here, but he did buy me another turn, which is good. Okay, about time we drew something that is, like, sort of going to help us. Okay. Type Null is good, because we can't get the Silvali. We can buff Patty in this guy. We still only get a Welder and an Energy. I don't know where they're hiding. He might have two Tag Switch. He can honestly go for a Magical Miracle next turn. I think we're going to pass. So buff patty will save us here 220 hp means guardian cannot knock me out but the problem is well there's no problem we can get a silvali in play force him to power plant get rid of that lab which means we can attack so it's kind of a lose lose for him that caitlin cynthia was such a good top deck we actually would have just straight up lost too because the other cards we drew weren't helping but, you know, say we're, we're chilling now we're not in the worst spot it looks like he is gonna go for that magical miracle here which is just gonna put me on the clock. But if we find access to Silvali here, we're golden. What, does he have a tag switch? I gotta assume he does. He has a green in his hand, I know that much. So we'll see what we can do here. No, he's gonna Collado Storm. He's gonna go for the two shot, okay. Let's see what we draw. We need a good top deck here. We we, have, we can do Pokemaniac. They'll get more Onyx in play, which is always good. We can do Silvali too. We could knock him out, in all honesty, if we can find the Giant Hearth. Or even Welder to Energy. There's the Welder. Can't really play that right now, though. Okay, we did prize one Energy, but that's not really even a big deal. Hmm. Yeah, we're not gonna be able to play Welder. Well, Pokemaniac. We're not gonna be able to play Silvali. I mean, I guess when it knocks me out, we have Welder. We only have one Onyx left, though. It's kind of sad. Yeah, well, let him knock me out. Crystal, Welder. Pray that we knock him out. He could GX and power plant me though. We'll see if he does get there. Man, this is so sad though. This is like kind of making me depressed. Yeah, he's going for the GX here. He's gonna wear the thing, but we'll be in complete top deck mode, which is annoying. But if we can top deck a giant hearth, that would be just so hilarious. So hilarious, we draw Giant Hearth. Let's 
see. I guess it is good that I played this. It burns a card, I guess. I don't know. I'm trying to be optimistic here. I'm trying not to get tilted. He still, you know, doesn't do a lot of damage to Steelix, which is good. Hopefully we can draw a hearth here. I just ask him for a lot with 40 cards. Oh my god, can we draw out of this? Okay, that's decent. That guarantees us a welder, which means that we can draw an energy. Guaranteed to attack. So we can take a few hits here, which is good. Maybe I should have just grabbed the Pokemania, but I'm not drawing cards. That's why I wish I had Pidgeotto. Pidgeotto would be perfect, but Silvali draws you better. This is going to be a really disappointing loss, though. If we, if, I mean, if we don't get something going soon, we are going to lose. We are definitely going to lose. This is going to be a freaking annoying loss, I'm going to say that right now, but... If the top deck gods give me an energy here... Oh, we still need to get Pokemon, too. Yeah, that GX attack just screwed me over. Okay, what do we draw? I don't need another welder. God. Yeah, we're not gonna win. It's disappointing. Okay, guys, we're gonna go try out the Steelix deck one more time here. Not gonna lie, I'm trying to get good games of the deck. This deck is the Steelix is trash, but we found another Guardian game. Ooh. Okay, well that is definitely good. I think some of your best matchups would be maybe Giratina, like because Giratina doesn't do much damage to you to begin with, so Giratina could be a good matchup for you. Uh, definitely Guardian, I think, is good. So if we can take another Guardian deck, I'll be pretty happy. But I don't want three Guardian games in a row in this video. So I don't know. I do start with an Eevee Lax. We have that Welder of the Energy, though, to go along with it. I'm honestly starting to consider playing three Giant Harps at this point, by the way, guys. Just because of Power Plant. I don't really know. And, yep, it looks like it is a Guardian deck, which is good. So, yeah, Guardian, as long as it's not weak guard energy, this could be a very fun matchup like the last games. Let's see what we draw. Licky Licky. Okay, cool. So, we have double Acrobike here to help us out. And I'm hoping the Acrobike can give us some goodies. As long as we play weak guard energy, guys, we can beat Guardian. And that is all good. Sorox actually could be useful, so it's unfortunate that it gets knocked out, but... Again, Steelix is going to carry us to this game, so we don't really care too much about the Snorlax. So, we'll see what Acrobite gives me. We are hoping for a Pokemaniac here at the very least. There's a green. We'll see what that green gets him. And again, that tag switch. They're going to set up that knockout with Kaleidostorm. Alright, we want to get Pokemaniac here. That ain't helping. Okay. That gets the Sonics, at the very least. That is still good. Oop, don't want to do that. That will get us the Onyx. We get a Welder, too. That's pretty good. I didn't want to have the Welder to the Snorlax, so that was a decent Acrobike. And we'll do this. Got another Onyx. Hmm. I do want a Pokecom. But if I can draw an energy here, we're guaranteed to knock him out with Thumping Fall. I really think we should put more Giant Hearts in this deck, though, guys. Or even, like, an Energy Spinner, because, man... Just not finding my energy when I need him the most. Alright, they're gonna Caitlyn Cynthia away the Power Plant. That's a good sign. That means Silvali can stick. I was thinking about getting Type Null there with Pokecom, but... The problem is, we would get knocked out by... Or no, not knocked out. They would just slap down a power plant, and then Silvali's ability goes bye-bye. Ooh, Pokegear. What is this going to give me? Another Welder. Okay. We'll take it, I guess. Bench you. Do that. It's not super amazing. Now we'll pass. So if he plays Custom, he could easily Custom the Steelix knock it out with Kali Magical Miracle. But if we get energy here, we can try to Welder, Thumping Fall, and knock him out. He's just going to Fairy Song. It looks like he's trying to set up a play with Magical Miracle. 
which is kind of annoying, not going to lie. It looks like he is going to get there. There's an energy. That's good. Okay, we got the Silvali. We'll definitely Pokecom here for Type Null. Oh, no, I was, actually, I was gonna get Ditto instead to bait him. And then he, he wouldn't expect the Type Null. Now he's gonna play a Power Plant down, so that was completely pointless. Um, yeah, we'll do that and we'll pass. We'll just spread out the energy a little bit. Looks like he is going to go for Magical Miracle. We do have a Cherish Ball, but I mean, if for some reason he doesn't do Magical Miracle this turn, we can do, be fine. But if you Magical Miracle and plants me here, we're not gonna be able to do Disc Reload. So we'll have to see what happens. You, okay. Just gonna Magical Miracle me by my hand. We'll bring in the Steelix. We can't get knocked out anymore in one hit, which is the nice thing. If we could draw a Pokemaniac here, we actually just knock this thing out, take all the energy off the board. Let's do it. Come on, Pokemaniac. Bruh. Okay, we'll pass. That's fine. At least if we can find a Silvali up the top deck, we have a Counter Stadium to the Power Plant. There's a green. What's he going to get? He might get the power plan here. Oh, he's going to get a great potion. <laughs> That's not going to help him. All right, come on. Top deck gods. Three Pokemon. Pokemaniac to knock him out. How many Poke Gears? We haven't played well, only one. Okay, come on, let's try. Let's just get the Poke Maniac, so we can KO this pest. Like Poke Maniac, literally would win us the game. I think is we can also get three prizes, which hopefully would guarantee us something to finish this off. Bruh, we're gonna lose to Magical Miracle. <laughs> Dang man, like. Like, why? Oh my gosh, we were like four cards off. <sighs> okay, well, we can do 100 damage, which I don't think is needed. I think it'd be better, honestly, just set up a little bit better. Definitely want to get you down so you can take a hit. Again, like if we can find Silvali, we're fine. Again, the extra Pokemon means we can Pokecom for Silvali. Okay, come on, dude. Seriously, this is like such a good matchup. Can we please draw? Oh uh, man, we were so close again the Pokemon. It wasn't that far off of our top deck. There we go. We got a Silvali. We're back in the game. Let's go. All right, we just need two Pokemon here to knock them out, or Pokemania. Let's see it. There we go. Nice. We'll see if we can finish this game off here. We might get stamped. He could stamp Power Plant. I mean, like, I'm scared of Power Plant. But we are going to take three prizes here, which is good. We finally did it. Oh, man. After years of training we finally took out another guardian with steelix and we'll take our three prizes lure ball that could help nope that's not gonna help ditto is also not gonna help so our prizes weren't very good so he's gonna stamp and power plant me here which is really bad like really really bad no well, there's the stamps that means he has the power plant in his hand already I'm actually kind of surprised he didn't play the power. If he had the power plant, I'm surprised he didn't play down as early as possible. All right, we got Poke Gear. Yep, there's that power plant. This is the issue of playing the Silvali, man. It just, I don't know. That I honestly like. I wanted to play the Pidgeotto build this deck, but that didn't work very well either. Neither is this build. I think in general, Steelix just sucks in standard. This, this card just sucks in standard. We're definitely going to try out Steelix and Expanded, though, because I, I think in Expanded, Steelix could be kind of cute. 
I think it's better and expanded with DC. You don't have to rely on finding your welders. It's this deck is twenty times better and expanded. Giant Hearth. No. It's in the deck. So we're down to our last Steelix here. Let's see what happens. We need a giant hearth here to try to win the game. He's gonna get another stamp and power plant. He's gonna stamp me again. And that's fine. We won't draw the Poke Gear. But I'm fine with not drawing the Poke Maniac because we could still draw Fire Crystal Welder. We really need to find this hearth. I am really saying we should play more giant hearths in this deck. I think. Oh, there it is! We got a double Silvali too. Holy cow. We might win this game, guys, off this clock. This can be a really cool way to maybe finish the video. Because I don't want to play this deck anymore. It's not good. No, oh, no, we drew a Poke Gear. I guess it's actually good to discard Baby Giant Heart. Alright, we have a double Silvali. Yeah, we need to play more Giant Hearts for sure. We are going to play it. I'm going to get one energy though. It's a little risky. But I want to be able to go for Disc Reload to thin the deck out. We didn't get there. Not yet anyways. Really need that Welder. I guess Ditto can evolve though too. So we have that option. Yeah, we still have one Steelix left, I think. So Ditto could still evolve. No welder. Caitlyn Cynthia though gets us there. We gotta get rid of that. Just make sure I have two in the deck. There's the Steelix. Okay, so yeah, Steelix still in the deck. He has another power play in his hand, so that was our last of our ability. So I guess we just hope we don't get stamped. We can evolve Ditto into Steelix, win the game with a Pokemaniac. So as long as they reset Stammy here, we can win the game. Let's see it. Don't stamp me. Do not do it. Just knock me out with Kaleidal Storm and do not expect me to win the game. Oh, he's digging. Okay, Caitlyn Cynthia is not a green. My eyes roll to the very back of my head. Please don't play three reset stamp. Or if you do, it's in the prizes. Okay, no stamp. Well, it's probably in his hand though. His hand, look at his hand, it's massive. So as long as there's a reset stamp here, we can win the game. Or, I need to find a great catcher, though, because of this thing. Are you kidding me? This guy has, like, a million things to counter. Oh, boy. This is not going well. Well. Here goes nothing. knock him out. He can't knock me out in return. No, oh, but he can great catch or still volley, though. But we attach an energy? We still have a Welder left. Uh, let's do Lure Ball first. Okay, two heads is what we need. That will indeed get a knockout. Great catcher's in there. Maybe I should have just went for the welder then. It's fine though. We could just knock him out. Again, I'm relying on him not having a stamp left. 
160 HP. So we get rid of two Pokemon here. And again, we cannot get one shot. Now, I know he's going to try to Great Catch me, but I can just Welder and win the game. That's our goal. As long as he doesn't have a reset stamp, we can win this game with Steelix Silvali. Oh, we won! Oh my gosh! And we got a Lost Hunter pack. Hey, let's go. So, I'll do one more game with the deck, because, like, it's kind of weird, you know, Ooh, you cherry-picked your games, you only have three. But all the other games I try to get were just not good. My opponent just destroyed me, and I drew poorly. That's the issue with this deck. Like, the problem with Steelix is you have to play the Pokemania and the Welder, you have to have a draw engine. I do think we should play more Stadium in this deck, though. That is something that I I think I can definitely agree on, is this deck needs more Stadiums. For sure. So we'll do another game with the deck. Actually, you know what? Let's, uh, let's, let's, let's keep our word. Let's actually take out that Lure Ball. You know what? I know Lure Ball kind of helped us in the end there a little bit, but let's take it out. Let's make sure we have three stadiums here to get rid of power plants. Okay, you know what? Let's just go with this. We'll try to get one last game with the deck here. I know the list has changed a little bit initially. And we're up against ADP. So the worst matchup we could have found. Great. It's really like, I've been recording this for like maybe half an hour now. I haven't found a single game against a uh, Malamar deck. That's actually really surprising. No Malamar. Um, there's a Mulligan. So if he's playing ADP, we can try to play the game like usual. You know, try to knock out Narcissus to the Palkia. If he has two in play, we can knock out two to win the game. So we'll see how that goes. We do get an Onyx start and a, we have Type Null. Our hand, though, is not looking very promising. Our hand, though, is not looking promising at all. Okay, we got Welder. That's a little better. We can do this. Take the Eevee Snorlax. Or the Snorlax, sorry, the Eevee Snorlax. We'll take the Snorlax if we need it. So if we can draw an energy here or Giant Hearth if he doesn't Chaotic Swell me, uh, we'll be able to Welder, Steelix, maybe draw the Pokemon we need to knock this thing out and go for a turn 2 KO on this ADP, but he also could hit a turn 1 Energy Resolve here and go for that turn 1 Altered Creation or a turn 1 Ultimate Ray, which is not good. And he's going for it and he's probably going to hit it too because I'm unlucky. Let's see. Poke Gear, Malalana. That ain't an end resolve. There it is. It was in his hand. How many energies? He hits three waters, bruh. Alright, do not have a metal energy in your hand. Or a Pokemon to did any for. That'd be nice. A. Alright, what do we draw? Okay. Perfect. I've only stayed in the active, though. We'll do this. We'll get rid of one Pokemon, because we're only going to knock out Jirachi. Okay, this is decent. This isn't bad. I like it. Another Wilders, that's, that's really good. And we'll definitely just knock him out here. Get rid of that Jirachi. Cool. All right, nice. Not bad. De I'm definitely glad I threw in that Giant Hearth. Definitely can say that right now. Hey, another three Retreater. So if Welder gives us a few Pokemon, we could knock this thing out and win the game. Or not win the game, but at least knock it out, which we do need to do. Um, and the nice thing is he cannot one-shot me here, so he has to Altered Creation and then go into the Knockout because we only have 170 HP. But if we find Buff Padding, we also deny that. So this game is winnable. This is definitely a lot winnable than the other games I try to find against ADP. Because the other games were just start with Onyx, handful of nothing, pass, turn to Elder Creation, lose the game. We're set to Dene. Ooh, that's a lot of energy to get rid of. He's down a few switching cards and two great catchers. So Silvali can also live, which is also a card we need to find here. Did he find the metal energy? Okay, he does stamp my hand away. That's fine. Can we find Silvali? Mm, yeah, we do. Okay, cool. We actually could KO him here too. Which is amazing. All right. Does he find that metal energy to get altered creation? He does.
He also unfortunately gets the Chaotic Swell, but that's fine. Giant Heart still lead us are pretty good. Alright, we're gonna play that. Thinner Hand. We're gonna do this. We could KO, baby. I don't know if I just want to hit into them. That's the thing. Get a ditto. Yeah, okay. We're not going to get the knockout then. Hmm. I might just Kaylin Cynthia then. Try to get the welder back. So the welder to you. Let me get rid of the Pokemaniac. Whoops. I, I, at the very least, I want to attack this thing. Great, but it's not the end of the world if we don't. Why don't we do a well? Okay, let's see. I guess we could have saved Let's Go Crazy. It's fine, though. So we can't get a knockout here. But we're putting up a fight. Which is something that I definitely wanted to at least happen in this is we wanted to put up a fight. Does he have another Chaotic Swell? He has a Cynthia. He does find one. Oh my gosh. What a brutal stadium. Okay, so... Hundred eighty HP. How many Malolanas is he down? One. Might not find it. So we'll bring in the Ditto and see what Ditto can do for us. Okay. I'm just gonna go for Welder. I wanted to mention maybe go disc reload. It's not going to help. Okay. That's a knockout. One, two, three. No, it's not. No. Nope. It's not. We're not going to get him. We're not going to get him. We can pick, keep picking at him, though. I just pray he doesn't like have Malolana. We almost had him. He's gonna get Malolan out this. No, Cynthia. If I had buff padding here, we would have bought an extra turn. Kinda sucks I didn't find it. Maybe play three buff padding in this deck just to like give you that extra HP. We could really help you. Like, it's two is fine enough, I guess, but like. Maybe we should just go on and play three buff padding. He's gonna build up this, right? Then we lose. So we can knock him out. And we get buff padding. No, we didn't build it up. So we knock him out and get buff padding here. Maybe we can win. Or not win. I guess we knocked this out. Great catcher to Dene. Okay, so our game plan is sort of on board. That's good. I can get a Steelix. That was a good top deck. So this game's going a little bit better than the other games I tried to find. Alright, just reload. No energy. Ah, no energy, bruh, why? Oh, no energy. Pretty much all she wrote. <sighs> That's all she wrote. We're not gonna win this now, I don't think. Without that energy. Yeah, that's pretty much GG. There's nothing I can do. We just didn't find the energy there off of that, and there's nothing we can do about that at this point. So I don't really know how I feel about Steelix. Definitely not a good deck. We can't even take out an ADP. 
yeah. Steelix, bad card. Don't play it in standard. This video was not very fun to record, I'll say that right now, but we tried to make the Steelix work. It's just, it's not gonna happen, guys. You need too much to make it work. It's not gonna happen. Steelix ain't ever gonna work. So, I don't know. It was fun to maybe, I guess it was kind of fun to build the deck, but playing the deck was brutal. It was, this deck was not fun at all to play. Um, but we tried. I don't know if Savali's maybe the right engine then. Maybe we should try out a different engine. I don't really know. Disc reload, what do you give me? Yeah. That's game. So yeah, Steelix guys, not very good. We did get to play against three Guardian decks in this video. You know, obviously I tried to find them, so I don't really know if you guys want to be like, ooh, it didn't count. It didn't count. But uh, I don't know. I Steelix just... It just doesn't have the best engine in standard. I think this card in expanded is actually pretty powerful. In standard, not so much. We tried to make it work. We tried to win some games with the deck, but the deck just wasn't having it today with the wins. Uh, but that's all for the video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you like on the video. Don't forget to subscribe down below. Home, we're reaching seven thousand subscribers. And as always, make sure to check out our sponsor, Cardcaptain TCG. As always, guys, use code LDF if you get any codes there. Yeah, and I'll see you guys in another PDCGO video. Follow me on Twitter down below, too, to stay up to date with all my tweets. And I'll see you guys in another video tomorrow.